welcome to Greased and Gas. Now today we've got something a little bit different because we're at Andy's Restoration. So this is a workshop edition. We've got three really cool hot rods to show you and we've also got the build on a 1950 Mercury Custom that you have to see to believe. So we've got plenty in this show, so stick around and we'll get them to you right now. So here we have Andy of Andy's Restorations. Andy, thanks for having us up here today. Oh, well, oh, we Charlie Hutton. And we've also, <laughs> surprised, there's Charlie Hutton painting away in there as well. All the way from Ada Hall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Andy's in there yeah. working away. There we go, it's all happening here. So Andy, yes. tell us, how long have you been here? Uh, this shop, 10 years. 10 years? Uh, 43 years in the business. 43 years, Building wow. Building hot rods, customs and yep. strip machines. And started out with your own cars? I did, yeah, yep. just as a hobby. Yep. Um, my mum's youngest brother was in the cars. Yep. So lucky enough, he sort of taught me the ropes. And yep. as we grew up, we could afford them and started yep. customising them. So what was your very uh, first car? Uh, Model A. Model A, that's yeah. a Model good start. Touring. A tourer. Yeah, oh, you like a wind tunnel. Yeah. Well, it was a beach car. It was a beach car. <laughs> put your surfboard in yeah. and you could get in the beach and yeah. pick up the chicks. It was good. Yeah, cool. There yeah. you go. And it's led to the business. Now, we're going to have a bit of a look around. So, yeah. like I said, we've got we've got Charlie Hutton pre-packaged in here <laughs> on the right-hand side, yeah. painting away. Well, he's on holidays and he's just thought he'd come in the shop and give me a bit of a he hand to finish the job that's off, right. which we're running behind. There we go. No, he's doing a great job in there. Okay, so what have you got in the shop at the moment? Tell us a little bit about what you've got in here. Well, Sandra, um, if you want to start from behind us over here, there's a 32-3 window in the background there. It's only coming just for a paint job. That's all we're doing on that one. Yep. Body and paint. Um, the 55 Buick's coming from another shop. We're just assembling it. Someone's lost interest in it. So it's a bit of a finish-off job for us. Yep. Um, right behind me, 33 Speedster. Uh, you still body. Now we need to come uh, and have a good look. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on over, Greg yeah. and Andy. Come on, so, Andy, tell us a little bit about this road so we've got on the right-hand side here. Well, Sandra, that's what I just spoke to you about before. It's a 33 Speedster. It's taken four years to develop to get this body built. Uh, they're finally on the market. Uh, we bought it from SoCal in America. We've had the chassis built east. It's an uh, Aussie chassis with a brand new Zong. Cast motor 429. 429 shotgun. Yeah. That was one of the first yeah. things I noticed when I walked out of this car. I went, it was under plastic, and I went, yeah. is that a shotgun engine in there? Because it's super rare here. We don't see it, many it, of them that's, here. That's correct. Yeah, it's a real thing. They were, they, were, they were designed by Ford to race the 426 Hemis back in 1969. So fortunately, the customer wanted something different, and um, that's what we've got in it. 100%. Yeah. This, this is going to be yeah. a car to watch when this comes it, it out. It will I be. Think. It'll be a real nice car. Power yeah. windows, air conditioning. Uh, soft top which folds behind the parcel shelf. Yeah, uh, yeah. Keep your eye out there. Yeah, keep your eye. If yeah. you, like I said, so 429s come out in Mustangs, and as I said, they were huge powerhouse. They car. were. That's right. Like so, yeah. If you if you're interested in having a look, look them up because yeah, they are. They're a dream motor. Like and that one there to have down drafts and everything on it. That's right. Super rare car, yeah. 429. So yeah, no, they're right awesome. up on the market at the moment. So okay. you want you won't see any out here for sale. No, that's right. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. So yeah. watch this space. So what else have we got here? Yeah, 55 to 100. We're doing it for a nut roasting company. It's a third generation company. The son is actually building it for the grandfather. Not oh, the great grandfather. The original grandfather. Fa family car? Family, since not. No, no. no it's a, they did have one back in 1955. So like a replica they're doing for so, themselves. Yes. Yeah, so it's nice. an original cab, original doors, original chassis with yep. all new sheet metal on it. Yep. Nice. So it runs a 341 Windsor, jag, yep. jag front end. Yep. And. Um, if Greg gets a shot later, you'll see the uh, logo on the back, you know? Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. There we go. Just right. a clean driver. Yeah. So you do everything pretty much from, so you can you can, we, yes. you can finish cars off can. or you can do them from basically, you know, go we, to work. We do everything in-house except yeah. the, the trim work. Oh, nice. So we don't there do the upholstery in-house. There we go. So if you're in Sydney or wherever you are, you could get a car built here. So what else have we got here? Okay. Um, we've got the, uh, we'll go on the side here first if you like. It's a 1958 190 SL Mercedes-Benz. That's a Mercedes-Benz. Um, it's been the family, I think he said, since the late 60s. Yep. So it was handed down to 
I'm not sure if it was a nephew and the whole story correct, but anyway, we've stripped it down as you can see. It's very, very sad. Yep. But yep. very fortunate, everything's available. Oh, wow. Because these are a very rare car, even in America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's probably more in America than Germany. And so, what year was this? It's 1958. 58. Yeah, okay. 190 SL. It's very, it sort of reminds me of a little bit of an AC Cobra. I'm probably going to offend well, someone there, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. I think the Germans were trying to make a sports car, yep. and that's what they were trying to capture yep. the Cobra. Um, early MG, yep. Morgan, it's all sort of combined, you know? So you it's, it's got beautiful lines yeah, in it. Yeah, you've you got know? a good range. Yeah. I'll have to have, I'll have, to have yeah. a look at myself what it yeah. is so I can actually see what a, a finished one looks like. So, so a bit of learning We are going to do a bit of a change on this. It's going to be something like a, the early speeds, the Porsches, yep. what they call the Outlaws. Yep. So it won't be restored as per original. So he's only a young bloke. He's wanted something a bit different. So yep. we're going to change it, tweak Ooh. it up a little bit. There we go. Yep. All right, now this yep. this car on the right belongs to yeah, Martin Mark, Musket. Martin. Yeah, Martin Musket. Um, we've, we've seen Martin's yeah. Roadster as well, so I'm, I'm digging, yeah. I'm digging the hue here, okay? Because black with a, with a with a off white. Well, this one's a bit more white than my firewall, yeah. but we can understand my my car's that colour. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm quite impressed with this, and it's steel. It's original steel car. Yeah. Look, Martin, he's, he's, he's been a street machine for most of his life. He's getting the hot rodding now. Yep. So he's bought this car, was a deceased estate boy. Yep. Um, it hasn't been started yet. It's just, we're just filling it out. We're changing a few things for him, but he wants a period correct. Yep. So as you can see, we're just taking things off and checking things out. Yep. He's not going to run up, up on it. Um, there's a new Scott but blower. Cool. Yeah, new Scott blower going on it. Yeah. It's been, it turned up the other day. New set of heads. And um, just, he wants it nice. All yep, cars he's got his nice, nice so, big yeah. drum covers on yes, there. And yep. Now, the distributor at the front, Yes. is that, it's, a, it's a standard on there? On a 48. 48 was the last year. Yep. And, four, and then 49 to 53, we're up the top. There we go. Yep. Now, the other thing I, sort of, I might point out yep. here as well is something, if you're ever looking at a 32, now, the giveaway to me that this was yep. steel, this is for the viewers, yep. is that it wasn't chopped because yep. most fiberglass cars are chopped. So this is standard roof height. So that's one way that I thought straight away, potentially, this is a steel car. Cow vents, obviously 32s have cow vents in them from factories, so, so that's always a giveaway, but not always, again, because you can option them, and exposed hinges on the doors. The really big giveaway on a steel car is the roof guttering here. Most fiberglass cars don't have the guttering on them, so that's one way you can tell a lot of the times, don't go up to people's car and knock on the side, because they'll probably punch you in the face. <laughs> there are a few things that can generally give you an indication of if it's a steel car or a fiberglass one, and they are a couple. So if you're watching at home, you might pick something up there. So yeah, that's correct. There we go. So no, it's cool to see a car yeah. that's that's an unchopped 32. Like I said, it's, you, don't, you don't see that very often. That's right. So. And, and being unchopped, they even went to the trouble to fill the roof. Yep. So we're not going to cut it out. Martin's just happy just put the, yep. vinyl, the vinyl top back on. And on sometimes top, yeah. for the yeah. longevity. Yes. Is uh yeah, yeah with, so, with a filled roof, it's it just yeah. having a fake. He's happy with that. Look, yeah. one is is yeah, yeah it lasts a lot longer anyway. Yeah. And what have you got over here in well, the corner? This turned up two weeks ago. This is going to be a build. Uh, we've got 12 months to build. It's a 57 Buick. So it looks like a Buick. Um, we, I think he's, we haven't exactly planned out with the owner exactly yeah. what he wants to do. But we're talking about big block. Yep. Um, front suspension has to be tweaked up a little bit because they're a little bit old fashioned. Yep. Disc brakes, full airbag. Um, custom trim in it. Yep. So we've got a year to finish it. He's got it. A, got a good basis though. Oh, look, they it's a are a nice car. car. It's hand stripped in America. That's how it come in from the states. Yep. It's all original, and there's not a speck of rust in no. it. No. That's very very unusual for that size car not to have any rust at all. Yeah. So it's obviously been a dry car, maybe mid USA or somewhere so it was dry. Yeah. But you got look like yeah. you've got a lot on your we hands. We have. We have. So really, <laughs> it's good. It's good. The, the industry, the, yep. the people, the cars. And look, it's a growing hobby. It it's is. gone ballistic. The hobby's unbelievable. Um, I think because people want something different, and and that comes from their personality. Yeah. It's not just going buying a new car, and uh, there's no challenge there. No, uh, exactly but, right. But no yeah, time to work yeah. on your own cars. Well, I haven't at the moment, but that's okay. We'll get there. Yep. Just You know, the shop's only new. Only I think been here what nearly nine, ten years. Yeah. So we're just sort of getting rid of the big jobs and we might get some of my own work back in again. Yeah, no, cool. We're getting teased yeah. over there by Charlie. Oh, yeah, that, that's it, yeah. 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 So, I'm, no. I might have to send him back home again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm is all that, the way from Idaho. I'm come, all the way from Idaho. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's quick, here. Quick We're, hello. It's, it's not too hot here at the moment. Yeah. He's helping out down here. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, Charlie's. I that, came in my formal. He, he yeah. looks very attractive there in his, in his wear there. So no, he's uh, good yeah. to see Charlie's here enjoying himself. My as spray well. suit, my fun. mask. He's just giving me a bit of a hand because I'm yep. falling behind. That's it. <laughs> so no, all good. No, it's great to see yeah. the shop and uh, thanks for showing us around. No, th thanks for coming and having a look. No worries. Thank you. Here we have Matt. Now, Matt, tell us a little bit about the hot rod that's behind us right now. It's a an A model. It's a, a twenty eight. Twenty eight on thirty two rails. Yeah, on thirty two rails with a thirty two grill. Yep. Um, How long you had it? Oh, uh, a year and a bit. Year and a bit. Yeah. And you brought it. It was somewhat pieced together. Yeah, somewhat pieced together in the sense where the body was on the chassis but not bolted. Yep. And the rest of the drive arm was there but not finished. Yep. Yep. So then I finished it off and then piece together all the little parts and you yep. can say like found the interior which it had yep. an interior but it was just like a cloth just not right yeah not yeah. right it didn't suit the car just didn't suit the it didn't car. suit the patina of what i was looking for yep. and then i patinaed more of it but majority of it was already original patina yeah yeah um got the motor running it wasn't running before yep. did all that sort of stuff and steering box wasn't bolted in so it made the steering box yep. work and all that uh what else did we do to it fuel lines we made all the new fuel lines all out of brass and yep. curled them, did the pig yeah. style, everyone calls it. Everyone calls it the mini moonshine. <laughs> so, yeah, pieced it all together and it just made, made it in the sense where I like the old school style yep. of things and I wanted it to be like a traditional hot rod back in the days yep. that someone had put in the shed and then pulled back out. And it flows. Yeah, yeah. and I wanted it to not look like Oh, he made it look old. Yeah, I wanted to no, you've done that, well. That character. Because so. you, you mentioned about the seat. Now, there's a bit of an interesting story with the seat. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the seat was partly my little brother's idea yep. and my dad's. And then, so it was a garbage day or a rubbish yep. week, whatever you want to call it. And someone had thrown out an old period correct, you could say, a leather lounge <laughs> with all the scratches and cracks and rips and that. Yep. And I thought, the colour looks good. Yep. We'll see if it fits. It's a, literally a two-seater couch. Chop the armrest off cut a bit of the cushion out, sat it in there, looked the parts, and then we made it custom fit. Now it's the interior, which suits the car, it makes it look like a diff. You've done an awesome job because even if you have a look at the, obviously the door trims, you've made the spare bits of that yes. into the door trims. Yeah. So it's like a complete interior, hard rubbish for the wind. But that's that's what hot rodding was years ago, is what you could find and what you could cut down and make fit in there. So Pretty no, much, yeah. it, it does, it's perfectly patinaed for this car. And the other thing, like you're saying, like obviously with the fuel lines and everything like that, that looks amazing. And we were talking earlier as well, and like obviously when it's been pieced together, like even the eye beam in it, like it's so period, everything on the car really flows from front to back. You've done a really, yeah, really good it, job. It, it's the good thing about it, I don't have to clean the car too no. much to make it look wow. To it, make it look good. Yeah, yeah. it's got that the dirtiness to it, but it's not you touch the car, it's not dirty. Yeah. It's it's, it's aged patina that's baked in. Yeah, like and, whole, and how long did it take you to piece it together? Uh it's still doing it now, I'd say. But still, still work yeah, in progress. But I went like a solid, I hit it hard, and I reckon yep. nine months I had it yep. from when I had it to on the road. And yeah. that, was, that was doing fuel lines, brake lines, like yeah. I said. Uh, and then I pieced parts in from the States yep. and the, the remote oil filter and yep. little things to make it unique in its own way. And yeah, I'd say nine months. Nine months, yeah. there you go. That's, the, that's awesome. The, there is a story to me when I first started the motor. I didn't yep. know how it would sound like. My, bro my oldest brother and I, we. He was in the car, sitting on the floor, sitting on the milk crate, and he had the battery between his legs, two wires on the terminals, yeah. and we're trying to drive, and it's... Rah, 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 and it's all... <laughs> but it, it gives it more fun. It gives it a bit of a story to it. It does. It does. Is it your first hot rod? My first hot rod. And did you have a plan when you were younger that you think you would get a hot rod? Not really. I, no? I had it built another car when I was younger, yeah. and my dad's always been building cars into cars, yeah. and so I've grown up with it, and I thought, well, in my next car I want, I want a hot rod. Yeah. And I've, and you've ticked it. it, you've done yeah, it. Yeah, and I said it to myself for quite a while, and I thought, if I get there, I get there. And eventually, yeah. I got there, and I, This yeah. family didn't stand a chance, all right? Like, between all these cars, and they're all family, no one stood a chance. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of time and money wasted within this family. Yeah. And there must be some good mums, partners, everything involved in this as well, because uh, yeah, there's some seriously cool cars that we're interviewing today. Yeah, in our family, there's no never sports on the TV. It's nah. Car show or garage time? Yeah, that's what we so. like to hear. That's what we like. YouTube, get on YouTube, watch Grease and Gas. Now you you've done a terrific job on there, and you, if you've taken it to many events, obviously uh, 
Well, now, it's going to be a little bit before this goes to air this, but obviously you've been spotted on Facebook and you've been roped into going to... Yeah, so I was, it, I was getting the tune and uh, it was a, a guy drove past, took a photo on the side of the road and yep. put it onto Facebook, onto the Model A page, and then all the guys in there was hassling me, you got to bring it to the 90th birthday 90th bash. birthday, yep. So now I've... I've Worked my way out of a day of work and yep. taking my boss and my uncle, which I work with both of them. Yep. So they're coming down with me. Yep. And um, yeah, so that's only the And big when's that on? Bash. What month is that on? The weekend of Mother's Day. Oh, so it's weekend so, of Mother's Day. Yeah, so, so the 11th, 12th, and 13th. So by the time this episode goes on, it may have already been on. So some of you might have seen Matt there. So yeah, there we so, go. But so, um, no, well, good to see. You. So we'll, uh, thanks for chatting to us, no, thank Matt. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, congratulations on such an awesome car. Thank you very much. <laughs> My 34th is going too. Yeah. It is safe. Okay. Thank you. Don't no worry, thanks. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we have Martin. Now, Martin, the car behind us, which is a 1932 Ford Roadster, has a little bit of a history here in Australia, right here. Yeah, it does. Um, we bought the car from Ian Splat, which is about, I suppose, about a year ago. Yep. We just we found the car accidentally, and it just ended up being what it is. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was good. It was a good story when we found the car. I had no idea who Ian was. I knew yep. Dragway Wheels. Yep. But didn't know. Ian. No, well, so so for anyone who doesn't know, if you if you're watching from overseas, we have a company here called Dragway Wheels. Uh, they still exist now, um, and they're owned by Ian Splat and very 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 popular wheel in the yeah. 90s. I think nearly every Aussie muscle car around had a set of Dragway wheels. And obviously, like I said, if you if you're interested in checking them out, go and have a look because yeah, they are still around. And Ian obviously had this car for quite some time. Well, yeah, for quite a few years. Um, we in the Buying it from his daughter, yep. which had it in storage for that was sitting there for 18 years yeah. in storage, but they never drove. Years. Yeah. So we got it off them, and it was it was a bit of a hard thing to take off because I don't think she had a heart ready to get let it go. Yeah. But and it had a lot of mem a lot of history for him and yep. that. And then we were there, we started talking, and then ended yep. up being all that, and we just learnt more and more as it goes. It's just yeah. been so much fun. The car, it, it's it's like she like she, they took it to the Hot Rod Show in 1972. Oh wow. So, Mate, it hasn't been touched. Though. So you'd probably find that if you opened up a lot of old hot rod magazines, that this would this would appear in there. Well, yeah, that's you're what probably finding out more and more as you as you go along. Yeah, that's. Mate, I reckon I have a lot of stories about it. I'd love yeah. to find more about it. You, know, you, you might can... find out more from this. Yeah, so if right. anyone does know, let us know about yeah. it, if there's any more info or old photos of this. Yeah, stuff. that'd be nice. Because you were saying as well, this is a this is a right hand drive. Is a, a Steel 32. Like this is an original yeah. Australian car. Original Australian delivery yep. car, yeah. Yeah, so, so they, there wouldn't be too many of them in Australia oh. that are like that. So, yeah, no, and certainly wouldn't have made sort of the, the test of time to no. now. No, so, that's right. That's a, yeah. So, and, yeah. And so the car, when you got it, it had been sitting in storage for 18 years, so it was quite, did it take much to get it back on the road? Like, oh, not so really. It would, it would run? Look, we got a, they start, they, all they did to, all they did for me was yep. they put a battery, because they just took it from the farm yep. to the workshop. They put a battery in it for yep. us, kicked it over, yep. and they were like shocked as it kicked it over after 70 over, yeah. years. Yeah. So they did that, and then um, once they did that, we got it home. Yeah. And we just played around with it, make sure the brakes are okay because they were a bit sticky. Yeah. The motor is fine. Yeah. And it's got the real, the old fashioned hot dogs, real old long hot dogs. Yeah. In it. Yeah. So, yeah. You liking it's it? It's hanging though? in there. Yeah. Oh, now, this is your Loving first it. hot rod, isn't it? Loving it. So, Martin, your sons are obviously, Matt is your son yeah. who's here, and you've got some of your other sons here as well. What got you into cars? So, have you been in them a whole life? Oh, we've been in them all, all yeah. our life. Um, yeah. Well, our dad was a panel yeah. beater. Yeah. So, he was the old school panel beater. Yeah. So, he's the one that really started this all off, and yeah. we just kept going from there, you know. He's, from so, there. he was a man who started it. Yeah. And if he was here today, I reckon he would kill us. And he's, you've carried on the tradition, and, and, and like I said, the, your boys haven't stood a chance with uh, with doing nah. this. But you guys don't work, like I said, on, nah. you're not mechanics. Nah. So you're in a different field, but you've, you've done well, because like I said, there's some great cars here that you guys have got, and with some great history. Like It's just fun. Did you, did you know it was a 32 that you wanted to go with? Is that what you had in I mind? I always, always yep. wanted a 32. Like yep. if you wanted a, a tough car was back then, was like, yep. you got to get a 32. Yeah. 32, 34. One or the other. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, no. Nah. You've gone for the icon. Well yeah. done. I love a 32 myself, That's so. It. <laughs> <laughs> well. I can understand that. So, is it nice to drive on there? Or a little oh. bit different to everything else you've got? Oh, it, it's fun. You, like, yeah. There, it's a fun car. Yeah. Like, you can really get in there and you're just yeah. having fun. Yeah. It stands out. They stand out. Like, 
you could drive a muscle muscle car on the road mm. and you seem to blend a little bit. Yeah. With a hot rod, mate, you're out there. Completely different. You're yeah. out there. And then manuals as well. So I mean this is really yeah, yeah you're really hot rodding with these yeah. with these as well. You're so fun. yeah, no, nah, yeah. it's great to see. So we've also noticed as well that inside the shop there's another thirty two and it's an unchopped, so I'm assuming steel body as well. Steel body, yeah. Yep. And what what's made you go unchopped? Oh, I just want to keep that tra traditional Again. look, you know, the old school look. Yeah. And You're definitely not a street rodder. There's no, no doubt about that. You're no. definitely a hot rodder, yeah. And, 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 and was that a going car when you, when you that, got that? That was an unfin un unfinished project. Yep. It was a car that had started, and um, we bought the car off the un unfinished project. Yep. We just, we're just going now to le next level with Andy. Yep. So he's got the car now, and he's doing a lot of work, even his yep. boys. Look, they're a great team. Yep. Great guys. And so did you buy place. that? Did it have a motor and everything in it? We had the motor. Yep. So the motor, everything was like there. Yep. Just had to piece it all back together. Yeah, and what's it running? It's just running, uh, the flathead motor still back Flat in it. Flathead's in it, okay. It's got, in it. yep. it's got a T5 gearbox going yep. in it. It's got the quick change rear end. So it's got all the right the right gear in the car. Yep, I do like your colour scheme. It I paints like, yeah. black with a cream off-white firewall. That gets a yeah, yeah. tick from me. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> very, very similar <laughs> to high maintenance. So. It is but high yeah, maintenance. Oh, well, we'll have to look forward to seeing that get finished. Have you yeah. got a timeline of when you think that that will be finished? Well, I'm, we're, we're pushing at the moment hard to make it to the race hall. Yep, yep. Hot Rod to the Show. Hot Rod Show, Sydney Hot Rod yeah, Show, yeah. We want to make it. That's a yeah, great show. That's, you, want, you want to get to that. That's fairly close. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you must be looking forward to driving that one as well. And that one's got a roof. It's got a roof. Roof and windows. Once you've had a road, so sometimes having a roof and windows isn't a bad thing. No, so. Roof and windows, my wife will love it. Yeah, I was just about to All say, right? and the wives generally like the They coops. love the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Convertibles. Yeah. It's good for five minutes. And yeah. Then... It's nice to have the choice yeah, of yeah. the two. Yeah, yeah. No, awesome. That's so good. Great, great collection of cars, and you've definitely been bitten by the bug. There's no uh, doubt about it. I don't think this is going to be your last one somehow. Uh, I think there might be, I think there might be more here. We don't need more. I'll tell you, we don't need more. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Thanks for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you for the time. Lastly, we have Anthony, but certainly not least, because Anthony, you have your 32 Roadster behind us. Yep. How long have you owned this? This one I've had for about two years now. About two years. Now, yeah. you brought this as a going car? Yeah, it was a going car. It was an old man's car. Yep. He built it, and he couldn't drive it anymore because it had no synchromes in the gearbox. Yep. So they crunch everyone, and he couldn't drive the poor bike. Yeah, so he got too old and, and decided to sell it off. Yep, so he sold now, it off. He did a terrific job because he's even gone to the to the to the to the level of going and trimming even toolkits and everything like that in Mate, the back. The whole lot. He's got a lot of, a lot of detail into the car. Yeah, he's, he's, done, a, a, he's time, done yeah. a terrific job. So wherever he is, I hope he gets to see this. Because um, he obviously he had other cars as well, didn't he? Yeah, he had another 28 that he was building, a yep. full steel yep. looking well. car. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now this is your first hot rod as well? This is my first one, then I've got another one that I'm building. Another one on the go. Now what's yeah. your other one? Tell us about that. The other one's a 34. Um, Five window car. Yep, yeah. yep. So American, five American, window. Yep. yep. And what mode are you going to run in that? Uh, flatty blind. Yeah, nice. These guys are literally, as I keep saying, <laughs> the bugs bitten. They, yeah. They're they're really into it. So with this, have you done many Ks with it? Was since you've had it? No, nah, not really. I do a few shows with yep. it. I drive it around yeah. and stuff like that. But yep. try to get all our boys together and we go for a run stuff like that. Yeah, because you're all all related. So you're the uncle. I'm the uncle You're the to Matt. Uncle, with the uncle to Matt, yeah. that's right, who was just on before. Yeah. So now we were talking a bit before because I don't know much about flatties and I've noticed that with your engine bay, your your valve covers or rocker covers as we call them in Australia are a little bit different to what most flatties look like. So what's the story there? Well they used to use them on um, boats back in the days when yeah. they used to race them so water yeah. wouldn't splash into the motor and stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, so. it's it's it had me, it stumped at first, I thought what is with that? But no, really good like detail yeah, as well. Yeah, something different, eh? yeah. And especially that moon tank at the front, that thing is a work of art Yeah, as that's well. old school, <laughs> eh? you can see it, eh? it's old school. <laughs> I love it, no, it's awesome as well. So when do you think you're going to finish your other car? You're not far from being finished with that as well. Well, hopefully I'm going to take it to Andy's um, Hot Rod Show. Yeah. So when's that? Next month. Next so, month. Yeah, so it should so, be out. So, yeah. So, again, depending on when this goes to air, some of you guys may see some of these cars at the show there. So they'll be they'll be finished and debuting there. So That's it. So hopefully we'll keep an eye out for, uh, yeah, some of these yeah, other cars just that are going to be there. just finishing the trim off in it at... Yep. Um, DNA motor trimming and botany. Nice. So, yeah, yep. so once it gets And have you picked a car? Well, it's obviously painted now. Yeah, it's black with flames on it. Black yeah. with flames. Okay, yeah. so we're going to be looking out for these cars around and also for a black 34, 34. 
flamed coupe yeah. and the obviously the black 32 coupe as well that you'll see as well on this show so yeah. no well done guys yeah. you certainly are very passionate about cars and yeah like i said you've what a what a group of cars you guys have brought yeah. down here today thank you so much for bringing them down and uh, being on the show all good mate all good thanks, thanks a lot. So you've probably been wondering why we've seen Charlie here. So Charlie is on a bit of a break from some of the projects that he's been doing back in Idaho. I've got that right, okay. Because yeah. I, I, I do get things wrong. Um, and he's come over to get Andy a bit of a hand on the car over here because you've fallen a bit behind, so he's come to help you out. What a good yeah. mate. Yeah, that's true, Sandra. Look, we've got a big project we've been building for a couple of years now. And we've got to that stage where we just haven't got enough labour here. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, on his holiday trip, oh, I've yeah. conned yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. I needed someone to give us a Imagine bit of a hand. Imagine that. Yeah. Shoot it's a like bit I of get a good friend yeah. gives yeah. me a call and say, hey, yeah. you're in Australia. Why don't yeah. you come by and see Donna yeah. and I? And but I do feed him. <laughs> I do feed him with a lot of food. Does he, does he need a holiday yeah. to Melbourne it's, for, yeah. for yeah. a steel 32 yeah. 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 Oh, and by the way, here's a paint gun and a paint suit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and how's yeah. it been going? We're all, we're, it's good. Yeah. Look, the project's nearly there. Um, yep. We've got probably another week in it. Yep. So our boys will come in now and sort of finish it all off. And um, I hope they spend a bit of time with his wife and my wife and... We're yeah. down cruising like, and seeing a bit of the done. scenes, yeah. yeah. Right. That's the idea, yeah. And go and, yeah. go and relax down at the beach up here in yes. Sydney. It's having some great yeah. weather. Now, yeah. social media, if anyone yeah. wants to see, Charlie, what is your social media page? If anyone wants to see what you get up I, to back at home. I don't even know what first my look social up, media is. Just, <laughs> just look up Charlie yeah. Hutton yeah. and you'll see. I am not see. good on the social he's, media He's good at painting, he's not good yeah, at talking. Yeah, I am not good at that part. Everybody gives me such a hard time, it's like, because they want to see it. You're old school. I'm good at supplying pictures to a gal yeah. that puts it up there because yeah. I wouldn't know how to get it on. Have a look. At, it'll be on Facebook. You'll find yeah. something. Google with him. You'll find him. That's right. And yeah. you'll see. If you're not sure what Charlie does, go and have a look yeah. on there. That's right. And his yes. restorations are on Facebook? Facebook, yes. Instagram, we're yep. on. Yep. Are on yep. both of yep. them. So if, you, if you've seen some of the, the cars that we've yep. talked about today and you want to see what ends up happening with them. And you also run the Sydney Hot Rod Show, which That's is correct. called? Yes. Yes. Sydney Hot Rod Custom Auto Expo. So Which is last week in May. Yes. yes. So if you want to know about the show and you're interested in that, this you may this show might be on after it, but it is on every yep. year. But you can see what's yep. going on with that as well. And if you are interested in going to it, get on up to that as well. So yeah, you can keep track of what's going on yep. here. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Enjoy Thanks your for your holiday. Time. Yes. Thanks very much. Thanks for tuning into Greased and Gassed. We've had an amazing time up here in Sydney. Thank you for Andy and Donna for inviting us up here and the guys for bringing down your cool rides. Back home to Melbourne and more episodes coming up. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube to know when our new episodes are coming up. We'll see you around soon.